going right down to mama. Holy shit. Oh, that's scary as shit. What the hell? She already looks dead. Oh, she is dead. Oh, wait. Oh. What? Whoa. Oh, shit. Yo, help him or something. Help him. Help him, you idiot. Yo, it's me, Chris. As you guys see today, I have the greatest hat in the world on top of my head. Ah! And I have this blank tank top, tank tank top, tank tank top, top 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 top. I'm mean, this guy. Hey, it's me, Chris, aka Kids Beers, aka Woo! Built different, aka Chubby Random Stuff of the Flesh of the Guy Your Mom is Always Talking About! Today, we have do something that's considered the hardest task on this planet. Tell me what it is. Ah! We're watching a movie. Ah! We're watching a movie, alright? Not any, not just any movie, alright? We are watching what? Psycho! We are watching Psycho. It is our first um, Alfred Hitchcock movie. Our first cock, the uh, Hitchcock film. Our first cock film. It's our first cock film, guys. <laughs> All right, our first cock film we're doing. Sci it's Psycho. Okay. Yeah, this is a movie our grandmother really liked. Yeah, she loved this film. She loved films like this and Chainsaw Massacre and stuff like that. Jaws. She was, uh, like, this stuff was her kind of. She thing. was cool as hell. You know who's also cool as hell? The people on the Patreon. They are very awesome individuals. I love them very much. And then we have those of you who are subscribing to the channel at this very moment. I love you guys too. Boing. Great individuals. All. <laughs> Boing. All around, guys. Blings all around. <laughs> then we have those of you who are not sub to the channel. You guys are stupid. You're morons. You're absolute imbeciles. You're fools. You're baboons. You're lesser than an animal intellectually. <laughs> now, if you don't want to be a stupid moronic idiot, you can simply subscribe to the Optical Channel at this very moment. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Psycho. <laughs> hey, yo. Never did eat your lunch, did you? These extended lunch hours give my boss excess acid. Why don't you call your boss and tell him you're taking the rest of the afternoon off? Hey, yo, oh, oh. oh, Sam, I hate having to be with you in a place like this. Well, I've heard of married couples who deliberately spend an occasional night at a cheap hotel. When you're married, you can do a lot of things. Hey, oh. You sure talk like a girl who's been married. Huh? Sam, this is the last time. Yeah. For what? Famous For this. last words. I'm meeting you in secret, so we can be secretive. I feel like it's always weird with relationships people have where there's just like secrecy. Yeah, it's not much of a relationship, is it? No. To helping me broil a big steak for three. Oh, steak? And after the steak, did we send sister to the movies, turn mama's picture to the wall? Sam. Whoa! Yo, my man. Marion, whenever it's possible, I want to see you. And under any circumstances, even respectability. Yo, my man's always on the prowl. Yeah, he's got away with words, dude. I sweat to pay off my father's debts and he's in his grave. I sweat to pay my ex-wife alimony and she's... Uh-oh, alimony. If she ever marries, the alimony stops. I haven't even been married once yet. Yeah, but when you do, you'll swing. Oh, Sam, let's get married. <laughs> oh, Wait, my God. Let's get married, but our relationship is a secret? Huh? Tell you what, when I send my ex-wife her alimony, you can lick the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> you got a headache? Oh, it'll pass. Headaches are like resolutions. You forget them as soon as they stop hurting. You got some aspirin? Yeah. I got something, not aspirin. My mother's doctor gave them to me the day of my wedding. Teddy was furious when he found out I'd taken tranquilizers. What? what? Whoa, whoa, what? Yo, she likes the hard stuff, okay. Uh, tomorrow's the day, my sweet little girl. Oh, oh, not, not you. My daughter. Oh, thank God. And tomorrow, she stands her sweet self up there and gets married away from me. I want you to take a look at my baby. Oh, I hate when people do this shit. I don't want to see your kid. So, and she never had an unhappy day in any one of those years. Uh, Come on. Uh, weird flex, but okay. You know what I do about unhappiness? I buy it off. Are, uh, are you unhappy? What? Whoa! Hey, yo. Lowry, I am dying of thirstaroni. Thirstaroni? Thirstaroni? <laughs> Who the hell says thirstaroni? Oh, he was so flirting annoying. with you. I guess he must have noticed my wedding ring. Yikes. When you think it's because the, it's the wedding ring. No, it wasn't. No, it was not. It was not. I'd like to go right on home after the bank. I have a slight head. You go right on home, because me and your boss are 
going out and get ourselves a little drink and uh, right? Hey, yo, is it me or is he annoying? No, My he, he, God, he, he is. Knock that headache out. Can't buy off unhappiness with pills. Ooh, I guess I'll go power, put this money man. in the bank, then go home and sleep it off. She should really uh, lend her pills of tranquilizers to the guy with the hat. You yeah. could really use them. I hate people like that. Cool slippers. Are you thinking of taking the money? Do we take the money? Yeah, she keeps eyeing it over and over again. It's like, what's going on? Because wasn't she supposed to go to the bank with it first? That's what I was thinking. So that's why I'm assuming she might, you know, decide to just... Uh-oh. Into the bag. Oh, no, don't tell me she's going to bring it to the loser she's sleeping with. Oh, 100%. No. 100%. That's what's going down, man. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That looks a little bit suspicious. Yeah, because she said she was going to go home. Uh-oh. I almost had an accident last night from sleepiness, so I decided to pull over. Smart. Okay. We're here all night. Is anything wrong? Of course not. Am I acting as if there's something wrong? Frankly, yes. Uh-oh. She seems very panicked, right? May I see your license? Yeah, at this point... Yeah. What? If you're, if you're rushing Please. him so much... Wait, why would you ask why? Just show him it! You're just making yourself look more and more and more suspicious. Making sure it's her car. Yeah. Honestly, I don't blame him. Avoiding the motels, trying to rush away, questioning to give a license. She just made it seem like she was someone you can't trust. Exactly. Hey, oh, he's right there, man. Oh, he's following her. Oh. He's oh. ditching. Yeah, she's really got to calm down. Yeah. You know, you're making it too obvious that you've done something wrong. You know, when you have done something wrong, it's best to be casual about it. Are we gonna get a new car now? Wait. There's no way she's this paranoid. Well, I mean, she did steal the money, right? Yeah, but she did steal the car. Oh, she's gonna Wait, steal the license whoa, plate. Whoa, This is quite a dastardly plan. Just one crime after the other? Uh-oh. So he is on her tail. I'm in a hurry and I just want to make a change. One thing people never ought to be when they're buying used cars and- Dude, I love the way he's just standing there and watching. <laughs> That's the one I'd have picked for you myself. Your car plus $700. 700. That's not that bad! All right. Is there a ladies room? In the building. Even this guy thinks she's sketchy. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, why would you look back at him? Oh, God. Oh, God. How bad at, are you at this? Seven big ones, baby. Hey, yo. Woo. Damn. Might as well be perfectly honest with you, ma'am. It's not that I don't trust you, but... Uh... But what? Do you think I've stolen my car? Oh, ma'am. Bro, he's like a statue over there. He's so menacing. You know that? Oh. He finally moved. Oh, he's pulling in. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. No way she just... Oh. Hey! Yeah. Oh, she forgot just her shit. Put it in here, please. Even more suspicious, you're just driving off without all your stuff. She looked like a wrong one to you. Acted like one. The only funny thing, she paid me $700 in cash. Oh, my God. How, how does she keep messing up? You know, the, it's not even minor, like they're huge screw-ups. You better run out to the house. She may be unable to answer the phone. Her sister's going to do that. She's as worried as we are. She's doing this for all, all of this for one man, right? Yeah, big mistake. Huge mistake. W what if this guy's a piece of shit? Carolyn, get Mr. Cassidy for me. Imagine he's not even divorced. Ooh, that's what I'm thinking. all, Cassidy, I told you. And there you go, the guilt right now. She's like overthinking the entire process, right? Yeah. Hot creeper, she sat there while I dumped it out. Hardly even looked at it. Planning and, and even flirting with me. 
dude's delusional. No one's flirting with you, no bro. No one's flirting with you, my guy. No one is. No one is. My god. Everyone's annoyed by you. Yo, 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 do the with the windshield wipers. You got them, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Oh my god. I hate when people do that, man. It pisses me off. I know, it bothers me deeply. There's no one else here. That always feels sketchy. We see no parked cars here. Yeah. Not a good sign. There's no sense dwelling on our losses. We just keep on lighting the lights and following the formalities. Okay, that's some positivity. Cabin one. It's closer in case you want anything. Right next to the office. I get your bags. Why is there like two sets of each key? In case there's multiple people staying in a room. There's hangers in the closet and stationery with Bates Motel printed on it in case you want to make your friends back home feel envious. <laughs> nice bird pictures. Well, uh, if, if you want anything, just just tap on the wall. I'll, I'll be in the office. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bates. Just tap on the wall? Would you have dinner with me? I was just about to myself. You know, nothing special, just sandwiches and milk, but... Sandwiches and sandwiches milk? Sandwiches and milk. I'd like to. All right, uh, you, you get yourself settled and, and take off your wet shoes, and I'll be back as soon as it's ready. Okay. Sandwiches and milk, man. Yeah, right there you had me like thrown off. Like, that doesn't sound like a great meal to me. I mean, trying to hide the money in your room is very interesting. What if you forget it? That's why I'm concerned, because she fumbles a lot, right? Yeah. I feel like she would make that stupid mistake. Just leave in the suitcase. We're going to put it in the newspaper. After supper, music. Whispers? Mother, she's just a stranger. She's hungry and it's raining out. Mother, she's just a stranger. As if men don't desire strangers. Hey, yo, mom's a buzzkill? Yo, for real, mom. Go on, go tell her she will not be appeasing her ugly appetite with my food. Or my son. Or do I have to tell her because you don't have the gut? I'm just going to say, if she tumbled down the stairs on mistake, I don't think anyone would mind. No, I don't think anybody <clears throat> would be concerned about that. What an insufferable person. Like, holy shit, man. He's just being nice, offering a sandwich. I've caused you some trouble. No, uh, my mother, uh, what is the phrase? A bitch! Yep. But as long as you've fixed a supper, we may as well eat it. Uh, wait, wait, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, it, it might be uh, nicer and warmer in the office. The office. She doesn't mind because you know the money's in there, so that makes it better for her. But why does he not want to go in the room with her? I don't know. Oh, we, we got birds. Oh, a lot of dead birds. Interesting decor. It's all for you. I'm not hungry. Go ahead. He's not hungry. You're just gonna watch her eat? That is really weird. You eat like a bird. You know what the? F what the hell do you mean you eat like a bird? Birds don't use forks. I don't really know anything about birds. My hobby is stuffing things. You know, yeah, we noticed. Stuffing things. All right, interesting tactic. Cool. A man should have a hobby. Well, it's 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 more than a hobby. Oh no. Do you go out with friends? Uh oh. Well, a, a boy's best friend is his mother. Ooh, um, shit! Sometimes, when she talks to me like that, I feel I'd like to go up there and curse her and, and, and leave her forever. Good idea! Yeah! Sounds good. But I know I can't. She's ill. Even better! She can't chase you! A few years ago, mother met this man, and... He, he talked her into building this motel. He could have talked her into anything. Oh, no. When he died, too, it was just too great a shock for her. What a weird moment to smile. I hate the illness. Wouldn't it be better if you put her someplace? Uh-oh, a home. You mean an institution? A madhouse? Maybe a retirement home? Madhouse someplace, don't they? Put her in some place. Yo, he took that personal. Oh, shit. Yo, for real, man. He got a little aggressive there. I meant well. People always mean well. 
They cluck their thick tongues and shake their heads and suggest oh so very delicately. This is getting weird. Oh shit. Yeah, he's getting like a little aggressive now. It's kind of freaky. Like, chill, bro. She just goes a little mad sometimes. A little mad, you say? Okay. Okay, bro. We all go a little mad sometimes. Uh, no. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Norman. Norman. Yo, that was awkward. Why? <laughs> well, uh, I'll see you in the morning. I'll bring you some breakfast, all right? What time? Very early. All right, Miss, uh... Crane. Miss Crane? Like the bird? That's <clears throat> a strange coincidence. You already know she wrote a fake name. Yep. Yep. He knows. He's listening? Oh, oh no! Bro, there's... Uh... Oh god, why am I not surprised, man? In the bath. Oh my god, no. Of course, the weirdo mama's boy. Oh my god. What the hell? Is he inspired now? He's gonna go beat the crap out of mom? Because he's coming out with a bit of aggression there, man. He's looking a little furious, you know? Oh, I thought she was gonna get in the shower with the slippers. I was like, oh! Yeah, I was a bit concerned about that. Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Oh, is that his mom? Yo, mama got the knife? I guess mama doesn't want any woman talking to her boy. Had to kill the evil succubus. Hey, yo, what a way to die. Yeah, and just taking a shower and you get stabbed to death. I kind of like the way they shot it. The, you saw the shadow come behind the curtains there. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Oh, so she's just dead then. Oh, yeah. She's, she's gone. Well, wow, imagine when the cop finds this. It seems like this isn't the first time. Let's pretend we don't know nothing. I mean, that's one way to do it. Yeah, we're just closed now. Nice, just make make it seem like you have no idea what's going on. Okay. Oh no, a mop and a buck. He's gonna clean it all up. Really? Is that the play? Gotta cover up for mama. I like how I still not realized the, the, the money in there. She hit it in a very good place though, honestly. Right out in the open, sometimes that's a good way to do it. You got everything but the newspaper. No. No way he forgets it. Oh yeah, he's gonna forget it. Or he's yeah. not he's not forget it, but he just doesn't realize it. Yep. Oh, I guess they're just driving by. Holy shit. Oh god. Thought they were pulling up. I was just about to say I, I, horrible timing right there to pull up. Oh, okay. baby. Oh, shit! There it goes. Oh, yeah, just pull up in the woods. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna push into a water or a ditch or... Yeah, right into the water. Interesting. That's not water. That's like tar or something, right? It's like mud. Yeah, it looks sludgy. Yeah, it's so slow. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, okay. Woo, okay. I was about to say, man. You kind of <laughs> committed with that. What do you do now? Yes, miss? I'm Marion's sister. <gasps> sure, Lila. Is Marion here? Well, of course not. Thank you. She left home on Friday. I was in Tucson over the weekend, and I haven't heard from her since. Not even a phone call. Run out and get yourself some lunch, will you? That's okay, Sam. I brought it with me. Run out and eat it. <laughs> Poor guy. Get the hell out of here, buddy. Who are you, friend? My name is Arbogast, friend. I'm a private investigator. So you hit him with the friend. Goddamn. All I want to do is see Marion before she gets in this too deeply. Did you check in Phoenix? Uh, she's a bit deep in uh, some sludge water thing. Well, she's not back there with the nuts and balls, but she's here in this town somewhere. I'll find her. Damn, his intuition is shit. 
He's so far off. You, uh, you out to buy a motel? No. <laughs> Reason I asked, you said you'd seen so many in the past couple of days, I thought maybe you, uh... Ooh. My name's Arbogast. I'm a private investigator. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to trace a girl that's been missing for oh, about a week now from Phoenix. You have reason to believe that she came along this way and may have stopped in the area. Did she stop here? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Well, she may have used an alias. Uh, Marion Crane's a real name, but she could have registered under a different one. What's that? It's the light. We had a couple last week that if it thing hadn't been on, they would have thought this was an old, deserted... Nobody had been here for a couple of weeks. And there's a couple came by and... Yeah. Know oh, came shit, him. he got him! Well, as you say, old habits die hard. It's possible this girl could have registered under another name. Do you mind if I look at your book? No. Bro, you had to change the book. And ready. Oh, yes. Here we are. Oh, shit, he left it. You want to check the picture again? Oh, yeah. Well, it, it was raining, and um, her hair was all wet. I tell you, it's not, it's not really a very good picture, really. No, I guess not. Well, tell me all about her. Well, um, she arrived uh, rather late one night, and she left early the next morning. Which morning was that? The, 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 the next morning, Sunday. I see. Oh, no, the mm -hmm. stuttering. Did she make any phone calls or no. locally? Did you spend the night with her? <laughs> well, then, how would you know that she didn't make any phone calls? Oh, my God, bro, bro. Bro, you're fumbling. You're fumbling. You're fumbling. And uh, after she left, she uh, didn't come back. Hmm. Well, why should she? <laughs> God, he's so awkward. Yeah, ooh. He's just as bad as her. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the hesitation on the first door was kind of... Bizarre. Yeah. Is anyone at home? No. Oh, there's somebody sitting up in the window. Uh, that must be my mother. She's she's an uh, invalid. An invalid. Oh God, no! Let's just say for the uh, just for the sake of argument that she wanted you to uh, gallantly protect her. You'd know that you were being used. That you, you wouldn't be made a fool of, would you? But well, I'm not a fool. Well, I'm... and I'm not capable of being fooled. Not not even by a woman. Well, this is not a slur on your manhood. I'm uh, sorry. Let's put it this way: she might have fooled me, but she didn't fool my mother. Well, then your mother met her. Can I can I talk to your mother? Oh, oh shit! bro, you're so stupid. Why would you say that? I think I've talked to you all I want to. Yes, but so, just for... I think it'd be much better if you left now. Thanks. Oh, my God, that's so bad. Anybody brings up his mother, man, he gets very aggressive. Oh, yeah. You can see the change instantly. He starts getting, like, a little bit of an attitude. Yep. Ah, the classic. I'm just going to investigate on my own. He's not going to find Norman, he's going to go up to the house. He's just going to walk in? Wait, no knocking, no nothing? You're just going to intrude? That's a home invasion, my man! You can't do that! Whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, he's going down! No hesitation, just stabbed the shit out of him. That Saturday night has a lonely sound. Man, Ever do we just violence? drive the other car into the water again? Sam, he said an hour or less. Like, how does Norman cover this one up? Well, it's easier that the, he died in the house, I guess. One of us has to be here in case he's on the way. But what am I supposed to do, just sit here and wait? Yeah, stay here. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, if you win as a, as a duo, that would have been a good chance, but, uh... Arbogast! Yes! Oh, shit. oh shit, like what do you do now? You, you can't just keep covering up every mess. Oh, he, he lives to tell the tale. Let's go see Al Chambers. Who's he? Our deputy sheriff around here. Yo, this guy looks like he's never had a good day in his life. <laughs> every day sucks. Uh, Norman, Sheriff Chambers. Yeah, have you uh, had a fellow stop by there tonight? Name of uh, Arbogast. Arbogast. <laughs> Arb Arbogast. Norman Bates's mother has been dead and buried in Green Lawn Cemetery for the past ten years. Wait, what? I helped Norman pick out the dress she was buried in, periwinkle blue. Periwinkle blue. Mrs. Bates poisoned this guy. She was involved with when she found out he was married, then took a helping to the same stuff herself. 
Oh shit. Wait, if, then who is that then if it's if his mother's already dead? Wait, what? I have a theory, but we'll see. Yeah, I, I have a theory myself, but we'll see where this goes. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right wrong. I will not hide in the fruit cellar. <laughs> you think I'm fruity, huh? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, we fruity? Mama's fruity? Put me down. Put me down. I can walk on my own. Huh? He just picked her up and said, screw you. Suppose you want a room. We were going to try to make it straight to San Francisco, but... Uh... We don't like the look of that sky. Looks like a bad day coming, doesn't it? I see a deal with two people now. Better sign in first, Henry. No, that's not necessary. My boss is paying for this trip, and uh, it's 90% business. I better sign in and get a receipt. Ooh, Yo, smart! My man's got a big-ass brain in that noggin! I get your bags, haven't any? I'll show you the room, then. You check in any other place in this country without bags, and you have to pay in advance. He's got them twice! God damn! How could we prove that? Well, if he opens a motel on the new highway, say it. There must You're... be some proof that exists now. Something that proves he got... I think that's the funniest thing of it all, that the money's just gone. The money's gone, he has no... He, he doesn't even it. know it exists. No. Bro, you better... You didn't even check the window in his house and... Did she leave? Is there something that he might have forgotten? That's what I'm wondering. Like, was there one form of evidence that he may have forgotten in here? Let's find him. One of us can keep him occupied while the other gets to the old woman. I don't like you going to that house alone. I can handle a sick old woman. Um, the last two people couldn't. I don't know about that. Whoa! Oh! Ah! Well, yes, as a matter of fact. The wife's taking a nap, and I never can keep quiet enough for her, so I... As we know, he probably heard the whole thing. Oh, yeah, because he has that little peeping station. Not only that, but how thin the wall is. Yeah, yep. Yeah. They're even making this front door menacing. Yeah, the way they shot that, it made it feel like the front door was like literally impossible to reach. What is that? <gasps> oh, <laughs> your own reflection. I think if you saw a chance to get out from under, you'd unload this place. This place? This place happens to be my only world. Uh oh. You can see the aggression taking over. Yeah, he insulted his uh, his little his world. In his a way. his lifestyle of sorts. Is this the stuffing room? I see an owl. There is an owl there. Maybe this is his room. Is this where we get the stuffing done? I bet your mother knows where the money is, and what you did to get it. I think she'll tell us. Where is she? <gasps> ah! Oh, oh shit! He clocked him. Locked him with the jar thingy. Oh, and she's going right down to mama. Holy shit. Oh, that's scary as shit. What the hell? She already looks dead. Oh, she is dead. Oh, wait. Oh. What? Whoa. Oh, shit. Yo, help him or something! Help him! Help him, you idiot! Holy shit. Okay, that was way more interesting than I thought. Like, my theory was dog shit in comparison. Really? Oh, God, yeah. Uh, have you any unsolved missing persons cases on your books? Yes. Two young girls. There's more? You have to go back ten years. To the time when Norman murdered his mother and her lover. Now, he was already oh, shit. dangerously disturbed. His mother was a clinging, demanding woman. And for years, the two of them lived as if there was no one else in the world. The guy came in. That's it. He had to erase the crime. At least in his own mind. He stole her corpse. That's weird as shit. If he felt a strong attraction to any other woman, the mother's side of him would go wild. Yeah. That's why any mention of insulting the mother, she, it would get upset. Yeah. Why was he dressed like that? He was simply doing everything possible to keep alive the illusion of his mother being alive. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He feels a little chill. Can I bring him this blanket? Sure. All right. Unless he can get away with a blanket. No way. No way. No way he escapes. That would be it. I hope they are watching. 
they'll see. They'll see and they'll know and they'll say, why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. That is, whoa. That was so cool. That, the end, that's, that's it, the car comes out. All right, so we just finished watching Psycho, which was, uh, you could see the groundworks in which Friday the 13th was incredibly inspired by. Oh my God, big Except time, man. they flipped the role. Yeah. They said it's the mother yeah. that has, like, the voice of the son. Yes. So it's actually really cool that the last movie we watched was Friday the 13th. That's such a, you know, honestly, that was such a great coincidence. It was, because it really puts the pieces together, the inspiration for Friday the 13th entirely. Big time. Yeah, like, wow. I think not even that, but what I liked about this movie is just like I was so I was just so entertained by it because I was just always in thought of what's going on, what's happening yeah. next. What what's the Because here's the thing, I thought exactly, I'm like, oh, because we watched Friday the thirteenth recently, I was like, Oh, what if it's like he thinks he sees his mother? And then they showed him carrying the body and I'm like, Huh? Yeah, but carrying the body made it seem bizarre. It was a it was a great way to like throw you off if you yeah. felt like you were getting to it. Was, it. it was very good. So I was like, oh, I think I'm getting it. Then I saw him carry the body into the fruit cellar. I'm like, huh? the, 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 he was carrying the body to the fruit cellar as well. I was a bit like, huh, that's bizarre. You know, that's where I was just like a bit like because uh, she's ill, she's feeble. It makes yeah. sense why she wouldn't really fight back. Yeah, but then I started questioning. How is she killing people? How is she walking around? Yeah. When, he eat, when he was picking her up and carrying her, I was like, she's not going to fight back or anything. She seems very yeah, capable. Especially when the uh, the, the police uh, chief dude was like, yo, she's dead. Yeah. She died. Yeah. So then it makes sense. He basically dug up her body, preserved it the best he could. Well, with the taxidermy and whatnot, he was yeah. probably, he's very Again, another, so. a, a big, a big uh, foreshadow you, again was the taxidermy. And it shows you why he's into taxidermy. He got into taxidermy to preserve his mother to begin with and then it became the hobby yeah you know and that's exactly. what he said you know it's not a hobby it pretty much it's uh it's more than just a hobby and he lost his mind because like his mother was his entire world and you could see like constantly and he mentioned like oh leave your mother this he's like always excusing anything like oh i gotta be with her you know she needs yeah. me it's like yeah. Yeah. you can see it's just like it's not that she needed him it's that he needed her yeah and he latched on so tightly that, like example like when she met another uh, a man and started actually taking away that time from him lost his shit he's like hey i don't like this yeah you're my world you know it's everything jealousy just... got the best of him yeah and that's why in his mind he created the jealousy of the mother yeah in which any woman that he was even briefly attracted to or anything yeah whoop. the best part is like you get a huge payoff when the uh the psychologist or the uh, whoever he is i don't know i got yeah, psychologist, psychologist yeah. when he explains the entire situation it's such a big payoff you're just like giga brain mode activated man. i can't imagine people first saw this like back um and you know what i love that when i watched such great films i always put myself in their shoes man it was the same thing with friday the 13th i was just thinking to myself like wow Man, how crazy would it have been to be in the theaters for the first time seeing this with everyone else, man? Yeah. Nobody was able to comprehend this shit. Like, this was absolutely insane. Yeah. You know, the movie was good, too. Acting overall was extremely good as well. Specifically for Norman. No, Oh, God. The, guy, who the played, guy steals the show. The guy who played Norman was so that good. Last, that last segment, that last little segment of him. He's sitting in the chair with the blanket? Bro. Wow, bro. It's just like... That was so damn good. It just all in his it. face, and I love that they just end it right there. Thank God, because that was such a great way they end the film. It was actually wow, man. That was super cool. That was it. I I, I like this film a lot more than I did. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't feeling it in the beginning. It's a very sl it's a slow burn. It's a slow burn. It is a slow burn. I was just like, uh, but then it got really and really more. It gets interesting. really good. It gets really really good. You know, it, it starts to get good when she decides to steal the money. That's what you're like, ooh. Yeah. You know, ooh. and then she starts messing up and stuff like that. It, it but I gets... wonder why she made the decision to steal the money. Because she wanted to be with him. If he, she yeah, thought, maybe she thought she I could pay off his debts, his alimony. We yeah, yeah, We could finally be together. You know, we don't have to be so far apart. Which is actually incredibly sad that, you know, she for her, that she felt like she had to go to that extreme just for this random dude. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, damn, but man. But then again, it didn't seem like... Um, he like, didn't seem like a bad dude at all. He didn't seem like a bad dude. I don't know if he was pressuring her. He didn't. I didn't seem like he was pressuring her or anything of the sort. I think it's, but just, I think that it's just more so that she wanted that. She wanted that life with him so bad. It got the best of her that desire, and she exactly because in the end she was thinking, "I'm gonna go back to Arizona and I'm gonna hand it in." Yeah, and it was, like, it she's was like, just you like, know, what's, uh, not even that, but she was talking to Norman as well. Norman even says, "You know, sometimes you go a little mad." 
Yeah. You know, and she and she was like, you know what? Yeah. You know, I this, I've, I've put myself in a trap. Li- I've also put myself in a trap like he did. Well, and Nora said he was born in his my- trap. Yeah, he was born in his trap. That was again another great line. Yeah, another great was, line to pick uh, up. I was born that was in really my nice. trap. I like that a lot. That was yeah. really cool. Uh, I don't know. M- many great moments in this film. I, I generally, I, again, I liked it more than I thought I would. Way more than I thought it was. It was really good. It's a good like a psychological horror. Yeah. You know, honestly, it really, it really gets the brain working. It gets you trying to figure things out. I was so entertained. I forgot about my theory. Really? I had a theory, bro. I was watching it. I was so into it. Theory's gone. I can't remember the hell I was thinking of. Like even me, like I, was, th- I just I, I lost it. I was just like, bro, this I was is getting spot good. on on the theory. And then when I saw him walking down the stairs with the mother and then uh, talking the yeah. voice, I was just like, wait a minute, I was like, but isn't she dead? Or like like the, the guy says, and then I'm like, am I wrong? I was like, huh? Is she not dead? It kind of is threw me dead? off a like, bit, but like, it makes on? sense. It no. makes total sense. Like. How he tried to embody his mother, his keep, mother keep her alive as long because, as he could. Again, you know, when um, the guy there, Sam, was interrogating him and telling him, Oh, you want to leave this motel now? He got super defensive. Anything mode. about the hotel, the motel, anything about his mother, yeah. he got extremely aggressive. It's, it's as if Norman never actually grew up. Yeah. It's just, it's a very, it's a very, world. it's a very sad case of like extreme mental illness. You know? Yeah. That, that's the sad reality. Norman was so, he was like exceedingly mentally ill. He got no help. He had no help, and that's what happens. You know, it, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very tragic story. That's it. You know, it's a psychological tragedy more than anything else. I didn't find it's not, it's not so much horror, honestly. No, just psychological and uh, somewhat thrilling in its own way. You know, yeah, psychologically thrilling. But it is actually sad to see that you know, there was no help for him. There was no help for him. No, you know, I, yeah, it's a very again, it's a very sad story. That's it. At the end of the day, Norman's story is very sad. That's it. Maybe if, he, maybe if he got help earlier on, maybe, you know, that wouldn't have happened. This wouldn't be the case. But, but yeah. just to see, like, how much he loved his mother to that extent, that he couldn't live without her. It was an it, obsession. It, it, yeah, he couldn't live without her. With her gone, like, the world, he couldn't live in this world without her, so he had to create her. And then we'll bring her back to life in the only way he knew. The yeah. only way he possibly could. But, yeah, very sad shit. That's it. Crazy ass movie. That's it. Yeah. I was wondering where the hell it was going from the beginning when she was like stealing the money and stuff like that. I was like, what's going on here? What, Dude, what? again, that cop guy, the way he was just staring at that car. Oh, he, was you know what? He was the scariest thing about this goddamn film. Yeah. Just like there on the car. Just like it's on the car, like, yeah, and he's just. Dude, he wasn't moving! He's just staring. Just, just staring, man. Staring at her, man. And that was free. He was the scariest thing, man. He freaked me out. Like, bro, like, just go away. But then again, she was so suspicious. Holy oh shit. God. Here's the thing. If a cop asks you the, for your license, give the license ASAP, all right? You're an absolute... You're stupid! You're a moron if you even question it. To even say, not, why should I? Not only that... What? But if you're going to rush them as well, it makes you look so suspicious. You Don't look, rush them. You look suspicious. So oh, I'm in a rush. I, I, I gotta go. Uh, uh, like, bro, like... It's bizarre. Just play it chill. Play it cool. You know, and then you're off on your merry way kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, man, dude. She I, she just You you did everything you shouldn't do. You could tell it wasn't normal for her. She well, was no. so out of her I mean, she was, was her so part. out of her element. I, yeah. And she was just lost. Yeah, and she, she was trying to figure out what the right things to do. But she kept making mistake after mistake oh, after mistake. God. The only the only thing that she didn't make a mistake with was putting the money in the newspaper. That was the only thing she did that wasn't a mistake. Yeah, because no- Norman right. literally never found it. Yeah, he so it just was, threw it in the swamp. It was genuinely a really good idea. That's the thing. I was yeah. like, wow, okay. She, I like how she finally has a great idea and gets killed <laughs> right after <laughs> it. Finally, you started using your brain and you're dead. What a shame. What a shame. What a waste of potential of being the greatest thief ever. Oh, I don't know. Now she's the deadest thief. Yeah, pretty much. Good movie, though. Good movie. Um, there's not much more to say about it. This was a really no. good movie. I liked it a lot. This was, again, I liked it more than I thought I would. Yeah, it was good. That was it. So on that note, we're going to peace on out like, um, I guess, Norman's mom? Norman's mom, Miss Crane, the whole gang, man. They're all gone. Adios. Uh, Mr. Uh, Oppenheimer, I can't remember his name. Abstagog. Uh, uh, Obstagon. What a weird-ass name, right? Uh, uh, yeah, Obstagon's gone. I, Octagon? Octagon, Absto, Absto, absolutely. We're out of here. Bye. Bye. Uh, oh, wow.